Hey YouTube, I just wanted to uh, make a video showing my my latest build. Uh, this is a kayak trailer I just got through building. It's a uh, five by eight uh, trailer, and I took and uh, extended the tongue out here on the front. I think it's a uh, eight or nine feet. I extended it out, and uh, up underneath the toolbox right there, I run some braces from the corner up to the right there in the front of the toolbox i didn't want the braces to come out any further uh just because you'd hit your your legs on it and tear your legs up you can see up underneath the front of the toolbox where the the two inch uh angle uh is what i use for the bracing now for the tongue i used a two by three inch uh three sixteenths uh tubing and uh, it seemed to work out really well and uh, I use like a, a, a one inch uh, square tubing for the grab handle I made it big enough where you could put you know at least a pair of hands on there probably probably four hands on that thing if you needed to pick it up and drag it you know both people on both sides could uh, or one person on each side could grab a hold of it and move it wherever you needed to go and uh anyways the uh the uh locking coupler uh the hole was large enough on the coupler that i was able to use like a full size padlock on it so i got lucky there that it fit and uh a lot of the locks these days for the couplers are, are crap so i figured a, a padlock would be a little bit easier to get in and out of and then i got a couple other padlocks that are keyed the same that I run like a cable up through the handles of the kayaks and around the bars if I'm going to leave the kayaks out somewhere uh, I just lock them up with those uh, cables and I use the same keyed padlock and uh, anyways uh, I uh, added a down bar uh, for support right here on the front just to come down to the tongue and give it some extra support because uh, that, that is a pretty long tongue on it and uh, down here in the front, uh, I added a, a light protector to keep you from uh, accidentally knocking that, that cover, that lens cover off with your leg or whatever. So I just added a uh, piece of steel here in the front and uh, I put a piece of steel on the bottom and just kind of made a light protector so you wouldn't tear it off with your leg accidentally or, or whatever. And uh, I welded a nice uh, shoreline jack on here. It's greasable. It's got a grease fitting on it. And uh, I took, and on this down tube, I welded uh, an eyelet just uh, to run your your uh, straps through just in case, you know, it's just an extra safety precaution. And uh, you can run them through the handles of the, the kayaks. And uh, anyways, uh, I added a nice uh, Delta toolbox on here. Um, seems to work out really good. It's a perfect size. Fits the trailer exactly. And as far as the uh, crossbars for the trailer, I see a lot of guys running those pool noodles and they look goofy going down the road. You know, it looks like somebody threw it together and, and uh, you know, it just looks, I don't know, looks goofy. So I went with these uh, NRS. These are the NRS uh, burrito uh, pads, and they work amazing. They're really, really soft. They stretch nice, and the Velcro that they're, where they're connected at is super strong, super strong Velcro. Uh, I ordered some uh, other pads from a company called Dekine, and uh, they were supposed to fit up uh, up to like an eight inch. Uh, circumference and when i went to put them on here they did not they would not stretch out but these uh ones from nrs are amazing uh nrs uh sent me some uh straps as well these are really nice uh tie down cam buckle straps uh they've got the uh little rubber protector on the side of the buckle to keep it from marring into your your kayak and digging up that plastic but uh anyways nrs makes some good products uh I'm glad that they uh, 
um, ex accepted me to be one of their uh, NRS sponsors. So, uh, thanks NRS. And anyways, uh, we were going to plan on doing some camping on this trailer. So that's the reason why I made it a five by eight. Uh, I used to sell furniture a long time ago and uh, I know from selling bedding and stuff we used to sell bedding as well and I know a queen mattress is uh, 60 by 80 so it's uh, 60 wide and 80 long and basically it'll fit right in the between the rails of a 5x8 trailer and then there'll be some room down at the end for you to put a nice Yeti cooler or whatever you got uh, down at the end so that's what I I uh, I've done. I've got an air mattress that I keep put in there now, but I'm just going to trade that out for a regular mattress and put a waterproof uh, pad over top of it, and we can take it camping. And you're sitting there thinking, well, if you take this thing camping, you're going to get pretty wet. Well, that's the reason why I took and put a uh, crossbar across the top. And, uh, you know, it's eight feet long, so I ordered a, uh, a nice tarp uh, off uh, Amazon really really nice tarp uh that's gray that fits over the top of that rail and it goes from uh right here at this end all the way over to this end and it droops over the top of it and makes like a uh like a tent and and then you can fasten it down to the sides of the rails with some little bungee type straps and um anyways your mattress will stick up um, to about where it's flat right here with this top of this bar so you don't kill your leg trying to get out of bed you know so the mattress fits in there real good like I said I've, I've been just using the uh, the uh, blow up mattress but when I switch to a regular mattress it'll fit in there perfect so uh, anyways I added a LED light uh, to the uh, trailer so if we get to the boat ramp real early in the morning or if we're out camping, then we can uh, just walk over here to the trailer and uh, flip this toggle switch, waterproof toggle switch. And now I've got a nice LED uh, backup light and you can use it as a, a camping light. And uh, it draws very little power. I've got it wired up. Uh, and it's hooked into a uh, battery jump starter with just like a cigarette lighter plug that plugs right in. And uh, it, it's hard to tell from the, the video here, but uh, it gives off a pretty fair amount of light. You'd definitely be able to see a lot better backing up or if you're out camping, what the heck you're doing. And uh, I added some LED running lights uh, down the side. I put another, like I said, I put that marker light there in front on the tongue, an LED clearance light here on the side, and then I've got a LED uh, Reese brand tail lights here in the back, and they are super bright. Uh, I made the uh, the uh, supports for the uh, the backup lights. Just took some uh, three inch flat bar and just welded it all up and drilled out my holes for it. And uh, it turned out real well. So it keeps you from busting out your tail lights. And at $50 a set for these LEDs, it's a good investment. And I upgraded uh, the bearings uh, to Timken. Timken are supposed to be some of the best uh, USA made bearings out there. Uh, they're probably the only USA made bearings out there, but uh, anyways, I upgraded to Timken and um, I upgraded the tires as well. They're uh, C, C, uh, C load range. I couldn't get it out. I was trying to think of what I wanted to say, but they're uh, load range C tires and uh, I upgraded the fenders as well. Put some uh, diamond plate fenders and a lot of times when you buy fenders, it just comes with the top. They don't have like an inner, an inner uh, piece to keep uh, rocks from flying and hitting whatever you're hauling. So I took, I don't know if you can see on the other side, you can see where I uh, put a, a backing 
in the fender so it wouldn't sling mud all over my kayaks and rocks and stuff and uh, I just took and uh, cut it out cut the aluminum out the way that I wanted it and then I just riveted it uh, to uh, to the fenders and then when I bolted everything up I used uh, some stainless steel uh, button head uh, bolts and I put a stainless steel wa flat washer underneath and then to protect the paint I took and put a nylon uh, flat washer up underneath the stainless steel to keep it from scratching the paint is bad and keep corrosion down so anyways uh the fenders are really sturdy they turned out really good you can you can set on them they're not going anywhere i've got them fastened two places here on the top and then on the inside i've got them fastened um one right there and one right there so you can see they're they've got four four bolts in them they're not going anywhere and uh uh let's see on the back i added a uh flag up here at the top uh with an eyelet i just uh i just mounted a flag in that in that eyelet there so you know people can see that there's a a load sticking out the back of the trailer and uh i added some safety reflectors on all the crossbars in the back i wanted people to be able to see this thing and not run into it and uh anyways i've got uh, uh some boards that's going to go in these holes here in the tailgate part of it uh that says team melton that's my last name and uh since i've been getting quite a few sponsors uh i figured i'd put my name on it and uh I was going to uh, put some of my sponsors on the back window of my, my truck whenever I buy a new truck here sometime in the next month, hopefully. So, anyways, uh, this gives you a good idea of what all I've done to the trailer. And there's no reason why you can't do the same thing to yours. Uh, one last thing, I did add a spare tire carrier. And uh, I, I used... Uh, spare tire lock and i used the same type of binks locks that was up there on the tongue and then the same binks lock that i used to uh, wrap around the uh the handles of the kayaks and what you can do is take and wrap the uh the wire through this handle the wire through this handle and have it come down because it's 15 feet long and hook it through uh the lock here on the front so you just have one lock to hook the for the spare tire and both kayaks in the front. And then uh, if you wanted to, which I've got a third lock that's keyed the same, you can hook, hook it to this kayak, hook it to this kayak, and then wrap it around that eyelet right there. It's a forged eyelet, so it's not going to break real easy. And, of course, if they're a thief, they can... There's nothing that they can't get into, so... But... Anyways, I, I would like to thank some of my sponsors, NRS, uh, Quantum, uh, Bending Branches. I appreciate all your, your help. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, get out there in your garages and start working on stuff. And uh, there ain't nothing you can't make. So, all right. See you later, YouTube.